subordinate subjects and questions. Let's check these questions out. First of all, each begin with a question word. Second, the question word in each is followed by a verb or a verb phrase like ran or will go. Also, the question word in each refers to the subject of the verb. Each question asks who or what did it, not who or what something was done to. So what lift me, the what in this sentence refers to it as a subject of will lift. The what in this sentence refers to it as the object of will lift. When the question word refers to the object, Clallam uses a special set of subject pronouns. So these are what we'll be using. This is our models and let me see. So in these models, all of the subordinate subjects pronouns are suffixes on the verb. In the questions, these subordinate subject suffixes are used only on the transitive verbs. A transitive verb has two participants, one doing the action and the other uh, would be undergoing the action. When we ask, who do you lift? The two participants are you and the person being lifted. When there is only one participant in a question, as in who went, the special subject suffix is not needed. The suffix with the schwa, x, and a raised w at the end of the non-controlled transitive is not usually dropped when the subordinate subject suffix is added. So if you look at, oh, so if we look at this, Kwanuchen, I see him in Sanuchi Kwanuchun. When the subordinate subject is the, the glottal X and raised W, the U, the end of the non controlled transitive verb like Kwanu drops off. But when you add the U suffix, it ends up looking exactly the same. So some sentences can have two meanings Kwanu, you see him. And San Uchi Kwanu, who do you see or who sees him, her, or it? Here um, in this sentence, San Uchi Kwanu has two meanings because of the U at the end, could be the end of the transitive verb for the U suffix. The context of the conversation will usually make the intended meaning clear. All of the subordinate subject suffixes are sometimes pronounced and spelled without the schwa. They can be seen and heard, but I think in the text, it's all included. But for fluent speakers, it's usually dropped. And also, these subordinate subject makers have several uses. And I'll show you in our Quinelli. So 
So that is it for our first part of the subordinate subjects and questions.